us. Please note you should always consult with your physician prior to following this video or any exercise program. This video does not replace nor should you interpret it as medical advice. Do not proceed with any exercises that are beyond your fitness or ability level. And for safety, rec for, for safety reasons, we highly recommend you have someone in your presence while you participate in our online videos. If you experience any pain or discomfort at any point during these exercises, please stop and never ignore or delay seeking medical attention if pain or discomfort persists. And as with any exercise program, there is risks in participating. Participation in Life Mark Senior's wellness class is done so at one's own risk, understanding no medical assessment or supervision is provided to determine suitability for the program. Life Mark Senior's wellness is not responsible or liable for any harm, loss, medical problems, or the consequences you may suffer or cause resulting from the use of this video or the reliance on the information provided to you in this video. And by choosing to proceed, you are acknowledging that you understand the terms in which we are providing the video and you agree to those terms. And of course, if for any reason you're not comfortable with these terms or you do not fully understand them, we kindly ask that you do not proceed with the exercise at this time. Alrighty. Uh, I'm going to start seating today. And again, just make sure you have some water with you. I'm going to turn this up just a little bit. If any luck, you can kind of hear that in the background. Anytime you're thirsty, please drink. And again, work at your own pace. So it's going to just a little bit of a warm up here. So get your feet moving a little bit. See that? <laughs> Back to this again. Just lift your heels up. And we're just going to kind of just keep a, a beat. Lift your heart, your back is flat. All right, just relax your shoulders. We're gonna take uh, three deep breaths, right? In through your nose, pull from your diaphragm or your belly, right? In through your nose. And exhale either through your mouth or nose, whatever is good for you. And again, Try and slow it down just a little bit. Fantastic. You're gonna get you just to turn your head to your right. Just don't force anything, just a nice easy turn. And glance in behind with just your eyes. A little bit of muscle stretch here. Bring your eyes back in line with your head. And bring your head back to center. Don't rush any of these. You just kind of follow along at your own pace. All right. Turn your head to your left. And again, glance in behind with just your eyes. Excellent. Bring your eyes back in line with your head. And then your head back to center. Heart lifted. Chin to chest. Look towards your chin. Excellent. Bring your eyes back in line with your head again. And then your head back up to center. One more. Just lift your chin up. Gentle stretch on your neck. Look up. Excellent. Bring your eyes back in line with your head. And then your head back to center again. Fantastic. All right. Some shoulder shrugs here. One at a time. Up. And down, we're not rushing anything. Up, other side, and down. Do your best to keep your breathing nice and even. Excellent. And you're not doing 100% of anything just now. Just kind of keep it below that 80%. We get things warmed up. A little bit of a stretch here too. Down, last one here. Excellent. And we can do some shoulder circles here too. So just let your arms fall. And again, you're not doing 100%, backing it off. So small to medium circles. 
your heart lifted and breathing in through your nose. Fantastic. I'm gonna change direction. And bring your shoulders down to a rest. Shake them out. And with your hands on your lap, or on your knees rather, I'm gonna do some trunk circles. So just make sure there's nothing around you that might get in your way. Keep your heart lifted. And again, just warming up your spine. So whatever works for you, that's what I'd like you to do. And if you keep your feet going, fine. If you don't, that's okay. Focus on the trunk circles more so. Excellent. And we're gonna change direction. Fantastic. Just a couple more circles here. And one more. Fantastic yourself back to center again. Shake that out. Just bring your feet out. Actually, come out a little bit farther on your chair. All right. So pick a side. <laughs> pick a side, yes. I'm going to stop your uh, heel list for a second here. Both hands on one knee. And you're going to just slide your hands down that knee as you bend forward. So the width of your legs will make a difference on how this stretch goes. Excellent, like you're pulling on a sock and back up again. As you go down, exhale. Excellent. And as you come back up, you're gonna inhale. And again, there's no number you need to meet. Work at your own pace. Come right back up again and down. I find with the, the wider my legs are apart, the easier it is to breathe as I lower down and come back up again. Fantastic. I'm gonna switch sides. Just a few on each side, just to kind of warm up your spine a little more. Forward bends are really good. Or forward folds, however you wanna say that. Back down again. Like you're putting on nine pairs of socks. Or four. Back down again. Inhale as you come back up. Again, take your time. There's no rush. And you don't need to do this. All right. The last one here. Inhale as you come up. Perfect. Fantastic. And bring your feet back together. Do our heel lifts again. Excellent. Heart lifted, back flat. Let's go with uh, both arms the same. I'm gonna hang them down. I'm gonna make a fist as you come up. Flex your bicep and your fists, and then release both down. Excellent. Release them down. Again, just warming up your muscles. Trying to cover all the bases here. Excellent. Up. Excellent. Down again. Last one here. Flex and release. Fantastic. Shake that out. All right. A little bit farther in your chair. <laughs> so we're making our way to the front. It's all good, it's all good. Find your level of comfort and you're gonna go with that, all right? Do a toe tap to the front. And add arms into here. I'm gonna push to start, okay? Heart's lifted, back's flat. And you're breathing in through your nose. Excellent.
perfect. You just keep an eye on what's around you. Want to make sure you have some room to work. All right. Work out, rather. You're going to bring your hands down. Keep your toes the same. Push your hands back. Turn a little bit here. All right. Push back. And you're not arching your spine, you're keeping it straight. And as your body allows, you're going to start uh, extending these range of motion exercises or movements. And you're going to work at your own pace anyway, so breathe, lift your heart. And I'm going to keep this toe tap to the front still. I'm going to change our arms once more. All right. This time I'm going to push up. So wherever that takes you, that's perfect. Excellent. Make sure you're breathing. Excellent. And we'll go for three more. And two. One, bring your arms back down again, and go back to our rolling march. Just the heel lifts, all right? Heart lifted. You'll see me slump over. I'll try and correct. Just remember for yourself, okay? All right. Uh, let's go for some uh, heel to, actually, for that, take a sip of water. Now. We can do that. Heels to the front. And again, we're going to move our arms into this again. A little bit different. Just going to reach forward, grab and pull. Reach, grab and pull. Reach, grab, pull. Reach, grab. Excellent. Two more. Grab, pull. Reach, grab, and pull. Fantastic. Put your arms down, shake them out. Keep your feet going if you can. Fantastic. Let's go for some raising up. Keep your heels going. Excellent. I'm going to go reach up and grab one at a time. Bring your arms like a cactus out to the side. One at a time. Reach, grab, and pull. Reach, grab, and pull. Switch sides, pull, reach, grab, pull. And again, you can extend that range of motion as your body becomes warmed up. Grab and pull, reach, grab, pull, reach, grab, pull, fantastic. Reach, grab, and pull. Fantastic. Bring your arms down. Back to our rolling march again. Excellent. I'm going to start bringing your feet up off the mat floor, rather, a little bit. Go into a march. Get our arms going here. Again, make sure there's nothing in your way, like a wall, a desk, the dog. Excellent. Hearts lifted. So from here, bring your arms out front. You won't go straight out because your knees won't meet up with them. So bring them up at a comfortable level for you. Bring your knee up to the hand. Now just turn a little bit here, you see. Excellent. We'll mix this up a little bit too. So bring your opposite hand to the opposite knee. One side. <laughs> so the twist is just your upper body. The legs stay exactly where they are. It's your upper body that meets your hand that comes to the knee. Let's turn a little bit more, you can see a little bit easier. And again, bring your hands to where your knees will meet. And 
and breathe. Fantastic. And bring your feet or hands back to that neutral position. Knees up. Fantastic. Now we just can go back to our march again. Nice. Arms lifted. Nice easy breaths. And again, you work at your own pace, right? You need to catch your breath, catch your breath. Have a sip of water, whatever's gonna work for you. All right. Take a breath again, nice and easy. All right, so we're gonna do wide, wide, narrow, narrow with our feet. Arms are gonna stay the same. So wide for three, two, one, narrow, three, two, one, wide, three, two, one, narrow, three, two, one, wide again, three, two, one, narrow, three, two, one, last one for wide, three, two, one, Last narrow, three, two, one. Perfect. And back to our march again. Heart lifted, back flat. Excellent. So let's go with, um, stay with this march. If this uh, lifting is too much, just go for your heel lifts. Okay, so whatever is gonna work for you. That's your option for the feet anyways. Hands, just gonna push across. Push. Excellent. Perfect. Fantastic. We're gonna reach up to the top corners, the opposite corners. Breathe. Back across your chest again. Just push, push. And that distance, you can go really wide or just easy, whatever's gonna work for you. You can go for bottom corners, opposite sides again. Push down, down. Excellent. And again, mind the twist, be gentle, listen to your body. And again, if everything doesn't work, just stop. Excellent. Perfect. We're just gonna jump right back into our march again. Nice. So if you're gonna have a sip of water, I'm going to change to a rolling march. Keep your toes planted, just lift your heels. All right, heart lifted. I'm gonna get you to stand up for the second part of this uh, warm up kind of thing, cardio-ish. All right, just come up, chair beside you for balance if you need that. Try and keep your feet going. Excellent, lift your heart. Sometimes it's good just to stand up. You can feel my hip flexors kind of stretch out again. It's a good thing. Take a breath. Excellent. Perfect. All right. So let's go for some uh, forward backward things. We'll do heel toe <laughs> with my chair out of the way. Excellent. So you're just shifting your weight front to back. Excellent and bring your arms out front. So when you go forward, it's like you're pulling yourself in, just push away. Rolling on your heels and your toes. Excellent. And that length of your arms or the push away, you can make that as far or as 
easy as you like. Just breathe in through your nose. Keep your heart lifted, your back flat. Ish. Fantastic. And we're just going to stop here for a second. Drop your arms. Stay with the rolling march or the rolling march. Your forward, backward. So like you've got a string on that front foot, we're just going to lift it up a little bit. So now you're balancing between your front and your back foot. If you need to hold the chair, definitely do that. And you can add, make this more vigorous if you like. Whatever works for you. Excellent. Perfect. And you're going to bring your foot back down or feet back down. Heel toe. Excellent. Heart lifted. Your back flat. Excellent. We change leading legs. Our legs are going to be in the front this time. So as graceful as you can do that. So I'm going to get you to bring your fists up and we're going to do this opposite this time. Normally with that, whatever leg is leading, that's when we start with, we're going to switch and use the opposite. All right. So whatever, if you keep going with this waving front to back, that's okay. All right. Count you in four, three, two, and one. Punch, punch, hook, and up. punch. Punch, hook, and up. Punch, punch, hook, up. Punch, punch. Find a little target to focus on in front of you. I can be your target. <laughs> and hook, and up. Punch, punch, hook, up. Punch, punch, hook. Excellent. Three more. Punch up two more hook last one punch hook and fantastic Just wiggle your fingers back to our rolling march again excellent Just drop your arm shake it out nice work so for here I'm going to get you to lift your feet, just lift your legs just a little higher. So we're going to exaggerate this all a little bit. So warm up just a little bit more here. Heart lifted. Try to keep your back flat. Fantastic. So if you choose, we're just going to speed this up a little bit. We're going to double our rate. All right. Again, work at your own pace. If it doesn't work for you, just stay right where you're going here. All right. So it's only going to be for uh, 30 seconds. That's the theory. Excellent. So like you're running for the bus. I'm running for the bus. well as you can breathing in through your nose excellent a few more seconds excellent and come back to a regular march again nice work fantastic so beside your chair if you need that toe tap to the back Extend your arms out or arm if you're holding on. Cross country skiing. Extend your fingers, open them right up. Breathe. Fantastic. 
fantastic. And we're going to come back to our march again. Nice work. We're getting there. I'm going to get you to push back with your hands at the same time, kicking your, getting yourself going. So hands only come to about your mid. Try not to get them to swing too high, All right? Push back, push, push. Excellent. And again, if you need your chair for balance, definitely use it. Eventually you won't have to. Excellent. A few deeper breaths here. Perfect. I'm going to go back to our rolling march again. Perfect. Heart lifted. Hands, just going to rotate your wrists. I'm going to bring them up front. Excellent. Just going to stop right there. Just wiggle your fingers. Excellent. Flex your wrists and forearms. Excellent. Rotate your wrists again. And you're going to come out to the side this time. Excuse me while I move over. Excellent. Keep your hands up, palms up. Excellent. Fingers, tips together. Bring them to your shoulder. Excellent. And then out. Just work at your own pace here. Breathe in through your nose. One more, and out. Bring your fingers back to your shoulders. Elbows bent, and just bring them to your front. Excellent, and away. Try and stay with that rolling march. And breathe. Excellent. Just a couple more here. The idea is just to get you to slow your heart rate down a little bit. Excellent. Out and bring your arms down. Shake them out. All right. Take a breath. Take a sip of water too, if you like. Just gonna do some shoulder shrugs here, both at the same time. Bring them up and down. And again, you're not going to 100%, keeping that under the 100% mark. Down and up and down, perfect. Up, down, two more, down, last one, up and down, shake that out, perfect. So just Get your arms going a little bit here, nothing too major, like you're holding eggs in your hands. You don't want to clench your fists. Do a toe tap straight down. It's very slow. Excellent. Rely a little bit more on your balance. Excellent. Do a hip twist in. Be as hippy as you like here. Whatever is good for you. Excellent. And a hip twist out. Excellent. Back to our toe tap straight down again. Excellent. And rolling march. Let your arms fall. Shake your arms out.
excellent. That's good. I think I've hit everything. So we're gonna change over. We're gonna do weights. You can sit or stand depending on what you feel or how you feel. All right. So I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit here. I'm going to stand, but again, you don't need to if you don't want to. Keep your water handy and actually have a drink. So let's go with, um, take this band, just wrap it around your back, underneath your arms. So if you're standing, make sure your knees are soft. If you're sitting, you don't have to worry about that. As long as your feet are flat in the floor, that's good. You lift your heart, keep your back flat. All right. We're just going to do some uh, punches. So just stay up to the front, the back, and the other arm. All right. Out, back. Fantastic. Keep your heart lifted. I'm breathing in through your nose. Pull from your belly or diaphragm as you breathe. Work your core a little bit more. Fantastic. So we're going to do three more. Two. Just a slight bend in those elbows. And one. Excellent. I'm going to switch hand grip. So whatever grip works for you, you're just going to switch it up a little bit. And just keep your heart lifted. This time, keeping your torso and your uh, hips facing forward, you're going to reach across. Work at your own pace. Excellent. And breathe. Nice, even breaths here. Two more, and one. Fantastic. Hang on to one side and drop the other. Perfect. Just going over one of your shoulders. You get to choose which one you like. Grab a hold, other arm grabs in behind. I bring my arm in so it's almost the side of my, my opposite side. And the idea is to keep that band out and away from the back of your head. Again, you work at your own pace. It's kind of why you see me kind of sit off to one side a little bit like that. Excellent. And again, so if you're standing, again, just soft knees, don't lock them. Adjust the band to the tension you like. If you're using a band, if you're just using a water bottle or can of peas, whatever, That's, that'll work too. If you exhale as you exert pressure, that's the choice of most weightlifters and people who do exercises. But if that doesn't work for you, you got a choice. Excellent. Three more. Two. And one. Excellent. And you're just going to put that back on your shoulder. Let your arms and your shoulders relax for a second. Take a sip of water if you like. We're going to switch sides. So whenever you're ready. Excellent. Let's do a couple of test shots here. Make sure the, the tension is good for you. Excellent. Keep 
breathe nice and easy you're working at your own pace so your own number I might do 10 of these excellent three more two and one excellent let that come down to your shoulder again let your arms hang shake them out if you need to roll your shoulders that's perfect excellent uh i'm going to keep it high here for a little bit so bring your elbows up so hands together keep those elbows bent the whole way Excellent. Oh yeah, I wanted to remind you that on Canada Day, which is Friday, um, I won't be doing exercises then. I'll be doing exercises, but just not online. <laughs> and I encourage you to just get outside, go for a walk, anything like that, that would be good. Heart lifted, back flat. Excellent. And one more. Fantastic. Bring your arms down. Shake that out. Take a breath. Let your body come back. Let's go with... Uh, We'll just work our way down here. So have a seat if you're not already seated. Have a sip of water. And then take your band, grab the ends, step on the middle. Okay. Heart lifted, back's flat. Bring your hands up. And it's going to be leg lift and out, and back and down. And do your best to keep your heart lifted and your back flat. Work at your own pace. I'm going to do 10 of these. So if you want to do 10, that's fine. If you don't, you've got your own number. And work at your own pace that's what you need to do excellent and there's four more excellent three two And one, fantastic. Just bring that arm down, your arms down. Switch out your legs. And of course, you know that if you're not using bands, you're just gonna lift your leg with your hand. That's the option, all right. I mean, you don't have to lift your leg. You can do it your, by itself, <laughs> just an option. Up and out, back and down. Excellent. Fantastic. So just five more here. I'm doing five more. Excellent. Four. Keep your heart lifted. Breathing in through your nose. Three. Two and one. Perfect. Lower that down. Stay in your chair. Have a sip of water if you like. It's going to take your band, wrap it so it's flat across your lap. 
bring your knees and your feet together. Just kind of reach and tie those together underneath or wrap them, whatever. Just hang on to the ends. All right. Heart lifted, still at the end of your chair or closer to the front of your chair, rather. Heart lifted, bring your knees apart. Slowly bring them back together. All right. So adjust the tension to do, if you were gonna do a 10 of these, let's say, a set of 10. So you wanna be able to just be able to do that. If you've got the tension right, you're gonna feel the tension in your outer hips as you open. And as you close your legs, you could still feel it there <laughs> as they try and hold that, hold your legs, keep them smooth. Excellent. And then doing 10 of them, so Nice even breaths, heart lifted, back flat. Excellent. Good for the muscles on the outside of your legs and inside of your legs. So that would be the abductors and adductor muscle groups. Excellent. Two more after this, nice and smooth, nice and easy. Excellent, last one. Perfect, nice work. And the band, I think uh, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna switch, just set your band aside Again, have a sip of water. We'll do some uh, seated strength exercises. I get you to come just a little bit further on the front of your chair, your heart lifted. Just cross your hands over, or you can bring them to your shoulders, whatever is good for you. Keeping your back flat, hinging from your hips. Exhale forward, keep your elbows up. Inhale back, touch the back of your chair, and then exhale forward again. Do your breath, your best to breathe from your nose. Fantastic. Had a couple of really nice days this week so far. Yesterday and today with really low humidity. It's kind of nice for a change. Exhale forward, inhale back. Exhale forward. Excellent. Go for a three more. And two. And last one. Exhale forward. Inhale back. Just touch your shoulders, come off the chair a little bit and hold it for three, two, one, and then all the way up. Fantastic. Drop your arms down. Shake it out. We'll shake it out. Nice. Excellent. So I'm here. Let's go with uh, seated toe drag. So you're going to point your toe. You're going to drag that foot back. So you want enough pressure so you feel it in your leg, right? So you're dragging that $100 bill towards you, or you're dragging a plate, or whatever it needs to be. Again, keep your heart lifted, your back flat. Just doing about 10 of these, you have that choice too.
Excellent. Four more. Three. Keep your tummy engaged, your core. Two. And one. Fantastic. You'll find that keeping your core strong so that you can drag your foot back and belly breathing at the same time, a little more of a challenge sometimes. And that's all right. Challenges are good. Just don't hurt yourself. Breathe, relax your shoulders. Try and bring that toe right down to the floor as you drag it back. Excellent. Four more. And three. Two. And one. Fantastic. So, something I sometimes do, this like you're running on the spot, your feet are just coming off the ground just a little bit. If you need to hold on to your chair, do that. From here, it sounds like a helicopter off in the distance. <laughs> Try and do that a little bit faster. Excellent, faster. Excellent. And back to our regular. And right down to a stop. Fantastic. Uh, chair walk. You're gonna go to the back of the chair, straight to the back. Watch what's around you and walk back to the front again. And to the back. And to the front. Excellent. We'll stay right here. We're going to get up and do some balance exercises. So if you want a sip of water, now's a good time during the transition part. All right, so the balance. You should have a chair handy, because sometimes these get a little bit crazy. Just kidding, they don't get crazy. <laughs> Inside leg's gonna be your weight-bearing leg. Outside leg, you're gonna straighten it out, lift your toe, and bring that leg out front. Excellent. Test your balance. Bring it back to center. Set it down if you like. I'm gonna go out to the side. Keep that toe pointed in towards your midline. Excellent. Test your balance. Back to center again. And then your leg's gonna go back. Keep it straight as you can. Keep that toe lifted. Excellent. And then back to center. And if you haven't set it down, now's a good time. Shake that out. Fantastic. I'm gonna switch here. Your outside leg is going to be your weight-bearing leg. Inside leg is going to be the one that's going to do some pedaling. So a small, small bicycle. I'm going to pedal here. I'm just going to turn a little bit. All right. Very small circles you're making here with your legs. Sometimes that's the hardest thing to do. Big muscles, small movements. And as you're going along here, try and test yourself, all right? And you're gonna change direction of that foot. Excellent. Fantastic. And you're gonna set that leg down. Nice work. You shake those out. You're gonna come in behind your chair. All right, so up and close, all right? You're gonna come up on your toes, not too high. Get your calves used to the idea. Lift your heart, back is flat. Excellent. Hold it. If you get a kink, just lower yourself down a little bit till that kink goes away. Excellent. And slowly lower yourself back down to your heels. And we're gonna go into a squat. 
since we didn't get a chance to do those in the city seated strength part and back up again inhale as you come up and back up on your toes hold it if you need your chair for balance do that building strength in and balance in your ankles and feet excellent hold it excellent back down nice and easy and into our squat again just check and make sure your knees are behind your toes all right you may have to stick your thumb out a little bit further excellent and inhale back up and then all the way up three hold it fantastic and just back down to your heels nice work I'm gonna switch to the other side here other side of my chair again the same thing for this side so your inside leg is going to be the weight bearing leg hold your chair to start okay outside leg straighten it lift your toe bring it up excellent test your balance breathe nice and easy bring that foot back to center you can set it down or not your choice here and go to the side bring that toe pointed in excellent again test yourself test your balance excellent and back to center again one more to the back straighten that leg up straight back out excellent. toe lifted towards your knee test yourself excellent and then back to center again fantastic shake that out a little bit take a breath take a sip of water too if you like I'm gonna switch our weight bearing legs this time it's to the outside all right start by holding your chair if you like and it's that little bicycle pedaling big muscles little movements Heart's lifted and your back is flat. And again, test yourself as you go along. Perfect. Breathe in through your nose. Tell you a little secret. So for um, um, athletes, what they'll do sometimes if they want more endurance, they exhale more than they inhale, right? Change direction. So it builds up carbon dioxide in their blood. And what that does is it makes oxygen transfer better to your muscles. So you can go farther, faster, longer kind of thing. Excellent, set that leg down. Nice work. I think I last a little bit longer on that one. Shake your legs out. Fantastic. Have a sip of water if you haven't yet. We're getting close to the end of the class here. I'm going to get you to have a seat again on your chair and up to the front this time. I'm just going to do some stretches. I'm going to do a bunch at the front here. So right at the front of your chair, straighten your one leg, bring the toe up towards your knee, heart lifted, your back flat, both hands on your bent knee or bent leg rather. So if you don't feel a stretch, again, keep your back flat, tilt from your uh, hips, lean forward to get the stretch you can feel. Should not hurt, all right? It can be uncomfortable, but no pain, all right? Three breaths in and out through your nose. Those muscles to relax a little bit. Make your belly rise as you inhale. That's a good thing. Open up a little more of your lungs. Excellent. Release this leg. Excellent. And you can either grab underneath or in front, or you can just stay here and keep your heart lifted and your back flat. Three choices for you. If you're grabbing your leg, hug it in as best you can in towards you. 
Again, even breathing. Let the foot relax. Excellent. That leg is going to cross up, either up top, or your ankles, or the bases of your feet, the soles of your feet. I'm going for a high one this today. If you choose this, keep your hand away from your knee. Use your thigh or your um, calf to hold on to. Your heart lifted and your back flat. Excellent. And release that. Bring it back to center. Perfect. Other side, you're going to do the same thing. Straighten the leg. Bring your toe up towards the knee. Heart lifted. Hands on that other leg. Tilt to where you feel the pull on the back of your legs. You feel that stretch. Three breaths. Don't rush it, take your time. Excellent. Perfect, release that leg. And whatever you did on the other side, whether it was sitting upright or pulled in, do the same thing on this side, match everything up. Three breaths again, nice and easy. Excellent. And you're gonna cross that leg over wherever you did it on your body, if you did. Heart lifted and your back flat. Your belly should be engaged like the muscles in your belly. Feel a nice stretch in your hips. Excellent. You release that. Get your sea legs back. I'm going to get you to stand up. Have a sip of water too. A lot of standing and sitting, huh? All right. So big, big wide. We'll come real close to the end of the class here. Put your hands on your hips. Give yourself a good wide base. Bigger than your hips. Excellent. Let's take a breath here. So you're just going to relax your shoulders. Your hands are kind of resting on your hips. It's going to shift your hips to one side. And when you do that, you're going to feel a pull on that opposite leg. Shift to your left, the right inner leg will feel a stretch. And again, don't pulse. Just find where that stretch is. Just three breaths again. So it's kind of like a small side lunge is what we're doing here. Excellent. It's a very fine, small movement, but there's a lot going on. Excellent. Bring yourself back to center again. And you're going to go to the other side when you're ready. Okay, just going to shift your hips. Go for that stretch on the inner side of your leg. Keep your heart lifted and your back flat. Nice even breaths here. Excellent. And back to center again. Perfect. Just drop your arms down. I'll get you to come into a little squat here. Not too hard, not too deep. Cross your arms in front. Inhale up. Watch what's around you. And exhale down.
Excellent. One more to go. And just your arms this time as they fall down. Excellent. Fantastic. Congratulations. Thanks for jumping in.